Who remembers this movie? I haven't thought about this movie in a long time. This movie is from the creators of The Matrix. There was a lot of hype going into this movie. It came out in 2015, and I haven't watched it in a few years, but the holidays are coming up, and I feel like we need to start a holiday movie club so we can remind ourselves to watch like all of these cool movies that we maybe haven't watched in a long time. Now, when it comes to Jupiter Ascending, obviously we got Channing Tatum right here. We got Mila Kunis. Am I saying that right? Mila Kunis. <laughs> but I feel like now that I'm thinking about it, maybe we were a little too harsh on this movie. I know the plot line and the script wasn't as strong as it could be, but visually and storytelling wise, from a visual perspective, I thought it was phenomenal. And like great world building. Do you know what I mean? One of the most talked about performances in the movie was Eddie Redmayne. He later went on, I believe, to say that he wasn't super crazy about his role in this movie. This article that came out in 2018, which was basically saying, Eddie Redmayne, this is his perfect Jupiter Ascending performance. And I agree, it was a perfect performance. Again, this was written in 2018. So I feel like this was written about three years after the movie came out. But if you think about it, now in 2023, almost 2024, I think we can have a greater appreciation for this movie. And I think it's actually the perfect holiday movie to watch. So let's try to catch up really quickly on what the movie is about. Quick plot recap. This is so top line and I'm just going by what I remember. So Channing Tatum plays Kane, who is a genetically engineered like space fighter type guy, bounty hunter who comes to find Mila Kunis's character named Jupiter, who is the reincarnated version of a former alien family queen. And this alien family harvests planets to be able to create organisms that makes a youth serum to keep them youthful forever. Again, we're just going by memory here, okay? So this is one of the members of the royal family right here with her reincarnated mother, Jupiter. And so the siblings are kind of battling out. That's where Eddie Redmayne's character comes in. So the siblings are kind of battling out for who gets control of Earth so that they can harvest Earth and make more serums. The main thing that I really love about this movie is the visuals and the VFX work. It's incredible. And so I put together some of these shots from the movie. I mean, the costume, by the way, is that Renslayer from Loki? I swear that's Renslayer from Loki, right? I remember this part. So without giving too much away, I think, so here's my challenge. I think we all should go back and watch this movie this holiday season. Let's put it on our list. It's only about two hours. Now, back in 2015, two hours seemed like a long time. Now movies are like three hours long on the reg. So I don't, I don't think two hours is that bad, but you will not be bored watching this movie because it's so visually stunning. I say, let's all give this movie a second chance. I think it deserves it. Let's go back, let's watch it, and then we'll come back here and we'll chat about what we think. Because I think if we all just take a relook, I think we all could fall in love with this movie. Let me know what you think in the comments.